Michael Canellis for Green Tech Media here, and I'm in Kirkwall, Scotland. It's the informal capital of the Orkney Islands, a group of islands just north of the landmass of the United Kingdom. It's an isolated area. Only 20,000 people live on these islands, and 10,000 of them live in Kirkwall. Neolithic stone circles dot the landscape. Until the mid-1400s, this area was actually controlled by Norway. And as you can tell, it's freezing cold. The area, though, wants to capitalize on its bad weather. The EU set up its European Marine Energy Center here to study wave and tidal power. The center has created live test beds for machines that will end up producing this kind of power in the next decade. Almost everyone that wants to go into the marine energy business is probably going to start here with a prototype. The hour-long sea voyage brings us to this, one of the two tidal prototypes made by Open Hydro, an Irish company. This turbine puts out 250 kilowatts of power. The other one is actually in the water at the moment. As you can see, you've got a, quite a sizable tidal rip coming through here anyway. You get a good impression of the power that you can get out of the waves. We're very, very confident they're going to be... Out of this will come some of the, the leading technologies for tidal. We already from Scotland export electricity to the rest of the UK. About 20% 20 20 of what we produce goes south of the border. So the vision for the future is we would be exporting to green energy. And there's already uh, quite a lot of studies been done on a North Sea supergrid to connect up uh, the European countries with the UK so that you can balance out the renewable energy going on to the European system. Scotland's ambition is to be an exporter of renewables. Uh, we've certainly got the resource to do it. What you've got here, you've got the Atlantic Ocean out to the west, North Sea to the east. And this channel literally joins the two off. So you do have a good tide flow coming down through here. The tide will vary. On, on a spring tide, it will be up to nine knots. Wow. Yeah. That only needs about, I think it's 1.6 knots of tide to make it operate. Uh. So that will then produce electric for four hours. It will stop for two hours, produce again for four hours, stop for two. And when you've got slack water there, if you move down a mile, two miles, your slack water will be a bit later. So you can actually have it there all generating all the time, really. Other devices will be going into the water soon. Aqua Marine Power, a Scottish company, plans on putting in both a tidal machine, codenamed Neptune, and a wave machine, codenamed the 